Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? So today is going to be a little bit different. We are doing, I don't want to say really like an unboxing, but more of a first hand um, take on my brother's first drone. Uh, this is going to be the DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, we're going to see kind of how it goes and what he thinks of it from his perspective. It's going to be a little different from my perspective. I'm more used to this kind of stuff. So, uh, Toby, have at it. Super excited about this. <laughs> so my bro told me about the uh, new Mavic Pro from DJI. So I went ahead and got the uh, Fly More combo. Just came in a couple days ago. I what well, was going to wait to open it until uh, we got together here on Thanksgiving. So we're going to give it a try. All right, what do we got? So this is Void. If void damaged. if damaged. <laughs> All right. And here, I'm going to crash this, this thing. It's going to be more void combo. in real quick. <laughs> right? I'm going to void this thing in 30 minutes. And this looks like this is it. That's a small box. Oh my gosh. My six uh, inch is like as big as this thing. This here is a shoulder bag. Don't really care about that. And fly more combo. So we're going to keep the white boxes here because they look like they get some good stuff in it. Alright, so yeah, this is what it comes like. This is the the fly more combo box. And this is the Mavic Pro. So, uh, let's see what we got. Should we check what's in the more combo first? No, oh, open this thing up. I yeah, want to see what's in see, there. I'm going to see. Make sure we don't miss something that we might need in there. I'm not even going to wait. You're taking too long, uh, man. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, so, got the battery charging hub oh you got this is like the upgraded kit you got we went all out we oh did, we spared dang. no expenses with the first drone we got the intelligent Man, flight battery look at that some more juice a car charger battery to power bank adapter so what we got what we got we got two two batteries two batteries you got the hub for the batteries then we got Two folding propellers. So you get spares. In case I break something, because I'm afraid I'm just going to lose it or break it. One of the two. So I actually even got the uh, upgraded warranty so the thing's covered, because I know I'm going to wreck this thing. Alright, so that that's what we got in the uh, Fly More uh, bundle. Open that, that. Oh, wait, it comes two per box. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. <laughs> Alright. For, for a little bit. These Let's are go cool, ahead and man. open up the Mavic here. Super excited about the size. That's really why I kind of got it. Um, my bro has the uh, Phantom, which is kind of large. Dang, look at this. Dang. That is dope. This is an iPhone 6 Plus. This is the Mavic Pro. It's like as big as, like as long as one of their props. That's kind of rad, right? That's super rad. All right, so we got the drone. Let me check this out. We have the remote. Check that out. And again, to give you guys a perspective, here's that's, iPhone 6 dude, Plus. That that's the size of the remote. It is so small. You're right, right? It feels good. Does it feel it feels good? Oh yeah, dude, those there are nice little gimbals on there. Kinda like your phantom? Yeah. Uh I don't know the fan <laughs> no, just kidding. That's actually <laughs> that's pretty legit. Yeah. Alright. What's under there? Uh, probably see. user manual. Got charger. Uh, charging little power thing there, all your adapters. So just a bunch of juice. Oh, that's to your phone. And a Man. bunch of manuals. Yeah, a bunch of manuals. We don't oh. really care about the manuals. Silica gel, you always need that. That's good to have around the kids. All right, cool. <laughs> so, boom. That's all inside here. So I think uh, I think we got to charge this thing up. So we got the stuff all charged up. We had to do an update uh, on the um, on the phone to uh, update uh, everything. We kept the uh, blades off because uh, Eric was afraid I might chop myself up. Probably a good idea. So now what we did is we installed the uh, DJI Go app, and um, it's asking us now to calibrate it. So I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work since I've never done this, but we're going to try it out. All right, so now we got it all calibrated. We're going to put on the props since I think we're ready to go. So kind of cool how it works. I wasn't sure how to uh, put the props on, but 
it looks like DJI thought about this kind of to make it simple. So see the uh, the white circle here and the white marks here. So those go together, and then the the ones without the uh, circle, black cir uh, white circle, go to those. So those are your counterclockwise and your uh, clockwise rotation. So we'll go ahead and put the whites on, and it looks like we just put them on and twist, and that's it. To turn it on, it should go like this. Take off. It says the aircraft is in a warning zone. Unpaved airports. Yeah, don't care. Let's try this. That's my boy. Alright, so I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to operate this thing a little bit. So, you know, pretty much like a good old Xbox remote. So this will be your, your up and down. This spins the aircraft left to right. Looks like this is your left to right and roll and front and back. Alright, pretty simple. So. Here it says I'm at 2.2 uh, .2 meters, or let's go ahead and bring it up. Pretty impressive. If you look at the actual video, I mean, it doesn't even look like the, the thing is moving at all. That is just solid. So now we're at, you can kind of see the, uh, the thing bouncing around a little bit from the wind. We're going up and down, but this, I mean, the video is just super, super stable. So what do you think so far? Being so far, like I feel first... actually really comfortable flying it. Yeah. Yeah, I was. I'm quite surprised. So we're going <laughs> ahead, bring it up a little bit. Let's take it out. So um, it looks like because I have the 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 ball, the 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 uh, the, the I guess protective cover. Over the gimbal, you kind of see like a highlight from the sun on it. So let's go ahead and. Oh, that's pretty good, yeah. Looks like we'll rotate, and you can see it disappeared. So I guess maybe if you're doing like some serious footage, um, I would probably take that protective thing off, um, particularly if the sun's right there and you're kind of concerned about it. So let's go ahead. Looks like we rotated pretty good. We can go. We'll go forward a little bit here. We'll just kind of follow this tree up so you guys can kind of see what, what we're doing. So, what does that screen show you? Like all the back? Like well, the here, so it looks like on the screen, which is cool because it's totally separate so it doesn't eat away into your screen. So, we have I'm in beginner mode, my GPS is full, gives me my um, battery in the uh, aircraft, and then this is my battery in the remote. Tells me the RPMs, I guess, maybe what the what I'm spinning up on top, and then this will be like how fast I'm going when I'm start going forward and backwards. Um, this tells me any sort of clearance uh, issues, clear uh, the avoidance, which is super cool. Oh, that's rad. Because I feel like I'm going to just crash into something, but I don't know. Let's go a little closer to this tree here, and again, I feel super comfortable flying this thing. I don't know why, but. For your first time. Yeah, this is actually super red. It's pretty good, yeah. So now we're... Yeah, I get more used to the uh, control of the camera. It's a great looking camera, too. This is, I mean, it's phenomenal. And again, see how you see the the actual, from the sun... Uh, I do see it. You see the, the from the bubble, as I'm spinning the aircraft around, and then it, and it goes away. But again, super smooth. Really easy to fly. Um, I haven't tried, I'm not, I'm not even, no. So once I tap on the screen, 
I can tell it to go home, which should be where, where I'm going. I can tap it to, to fly somewhere, I'm assuming. Um, at least that's what I read. Well, oh, that's for the camera. And then if I hit that, just tell me to do some other stuff. Oh, here we go. Okay, so it's going to tell me how to do certain things. Oh, tap fly. Tap fly? Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. So that's, I just tapped it to go somewhere. Cool. And then I'm going to just um, hit OK here. So again, I, I literally just took this out of the box. I haven't flown this at all. There we go. It's going with some speed, too. That's awesome. All right, so now I'll hit stop. I guess technically I can spin the aircraft back. Tap, and hit go. Sucker goes, man. I don't want to be pissing off any neighbors, but... <laughs> So hit stop. Let's try to return to home. Let's hit the home button. Slide. Go home. Oh. It's, it's finding it, right? I don't know. Oh, it's going over there. <laughs> hit stop. Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that almost landed on the roof. The roof. So we'll go ahead and so, bring this little bird back. So that's our first. Uh... <laughs> that was super that, scary. That, that, that wasn't <laughs> precision. It says precision landing. That wasn't precision landing. I'm not sure what was up with that. That could have been like maybe my bad GPS thinking or something. So I'm going to land this manually. And again, I've, I've never landed anything like this before. So let's see how this works. What happened was I actually got, uh, I dropped it down, but it actually didn't force it to go all the way down. It, it actually stopped by itself. Even I couldn't move the stick down, and then it knew I was going to land, so it actually auto landed by itself. So I, it, you can't. It doesn't look like you can actually slam it into the ground. Super cool on that. So it just maybe like two, three feet before it hit the ground, and then it, it went to landing, and uh, and that was it. The auto land feature didn't look like it was going to make it. So luckily I was able to hit cancel just in time before it wrecked into the roof. So uh, other than that, way to go DJI. All right, so that was Toby's first impressions on flying the DJI Mavic Pro. Uh, just let me know, what did you think about it for never flying anything before? Was it easy for you? Um, were you scared of anything? <laughs> um, what, what pretty much? Definitely it was super easy. I, I was actually quite surprised how intuitive DJI made the controls and everything. I mean, I literally, barely read the uh, the user manual. I actually I just like skimmed through it just to make sure I knew how to power everything up. Um, but other than that, we took took to the sky. I mean, I guess if you've flown anything like in a, in a video game or anything like that, it's just that cool and that simple. Um, probably the only scary part was, you know, flying at home. It literally almost fl uh, flew into the uh, uh, the, the roof, but we kind of figured out what happened was that when we took off, we actually took off too fast and it didn't lock in the home location. So, um, yeah, it just kind of knew it was in that area. Yeah. Just not. So probably the specific. best thing to do is like, if you go all, you know, crazy far and then you just want it to come home. So at least like you, you visually see it again and then you can probably just like land it yourself or, or, you know, you don't need it to go down by itself. Um, so that's super cool. Other than that, I mean, super easy. I'm super hooked on it. Can't wait to fly it again. I mean, I got three <laughs> battery packs, so I'm definitely going to go and, and, and burn, burn a few. Yeah, <laughs> burn a few. Um, and just to kind of figure out, I think the, 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 what I really want to learn is like the flying part is probably the simplest thing of that thing, but maybe like controlling the camera and actually like getting some shots that are useful. It's probably like the, the most challenging thing that, you know, uh, what I'm going to try to learn is, uh, you know, 
it's one thing to fly it, but actually have some use, uh, useful like a nice cinematic shot yeah, or video something. or something like yeah. that, you know, like where to fly or, and kind of get that vibe. It's probably going to be the most challenging part. The flying part is probably the easiest thing with that thing. I mean, literally, you don't even have to touch the thing. You can just tap and go, tap and land. So that, but controlling, I think, the camera is where it's going to get kind of cool and, so and, you, and creative. So you would recommend this for somebody that's... Everybody. Everybody? <laughs> everybody. <laughs> everybody right. needs You're to get stoked. <laughs> the Mavic Pro. I mean, it's so tiny and little. <laughs> That, uh, you know, I think that, you know, you can take it with you all the time. And with that, you know, uh, I'm literally going to keep it in my car all the time. <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, cool. So that's completely from a beginner, honest review. Nothing that you could just say anything different from he got it out of the package. He set it up. He flew it. He almost crashed it. Everything. So that's about it. So you guys have fun. Get nasty. Get a Mavic Pro. Definitely get a Mavic Pro. Peace. See ya. <laughs>